Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, I am back to talk to you and show you about three different things. First, we're going to talk about CF Spark, which is Creative Fabric of Spark. We're also going to talk about Fotor, which is a um, app that you can use to edit your images. And we're going to talk about print on demand. OK, so if you have any interest in those three things, stick with me. Trust me, you are not going to regret it. OK. All right. So first and foremost, with Creative Fabrica, um, the rave right now is creating digital images. So you don't have to be a graphic artist. You don't know how to. You don't have to know how to draw or any of that kind of good stuff. All you have to know how to do is use some keywords to generate an image. Okay. So in Creative Fabrica, you have this um, CF Spark. And you can create designs, browse creations, and search creations. First, I'm going to show you how to search creations. The reason I'm going to start there is because a lot of people ask, how can I find you on CF Spark? Okay, or how can I find you on Creative Fabrica? Okay, so the way you can find me on Creative Fabrica is you go and you um, make sure I clicked on this again. Da, 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 da. All right, so when you want to look for someone, you go to um, search creations and you have to know the person's name on CF Spark. So that's the main thing. So if you want to find me, you just type in Pandoras48. And there I am. So this is how you can find anyone on CF Spark is by going to Spark search creations, and then entering their name. So again, you want to ask them what's their name on CF Spark. Once you locate them, you can see all these images are images that I've created. And all you have to do is just click on one of them or click on the hyperlink. And it's going to take you to my CF Spark. Okay. And if you want to follow me, then you'll have this button here to say follow creator. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to follow myself, but you would just click on follow creator if you would like to follow me. The more the merrier. The more I know, the more you're going to know. That's the way you want to look at it. Okay, so that's how you can find someone on CF Spark really, really easy. Okay, now um, the main rave right now is creating digital images. To do that, once you come to Spark, you're going to click on create designs. Now, I'm not going to walk through all aspects of it. There is a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. Just go and click that, and it will tell you all you need to know about CF Spark. And there is also another video tutorial um, on how you can use the Face app to edit your, your um, images that you generate from CF Spark if you're interested in doing that. So, um, yeah, check those two video tutorials out, okay? Because we got a lot to cover in this one, so I don't want to do a lot of repeat. Okay, so um, to generate an image, you're just going to use keywords. Okay, so in this open field here, you're just going to type in your keywords. So um, here's an example, a unicorn on a rainbow in the style of Char Charlie Bowater. So it's giving you examples of things that you can put in. Okay, but of course, you want to make it specific to what you're looking for. Okay, so you can see here. Here I've used stunning, AK, hyper detail, light skin, brown skin, woman, hyper realistic, so on and so forth. Okay. And these are the images. It's going to generate four images for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my creations. And you have these prompts. Okay. 
So um, your prompts can be visible or they can be hidden, okay? That's totally up to you. Again, go back to my tutorial on CF Spark and it'll walk you through all that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reuse one of the prompts that I've already used. So I like this one. So I'm gonna say open CF Spark with this prompt um, pre-filled. So it's gonna put that prompt in the field for me so I didn't have to type anything in, okay? And then I'm just going to ignite. Now I don't have any speed credits, so I'm probably gonna be placed in queue um, until it's my turn for my images to generate, okay? You get, um, if you sign up for Creative Fabrica, I think you get 1,000 um, speed credits per month. Once those speed credits are used up, which the speed credits help your, image, help your images load faster, and you don't have to be in a queue, so to speak. Um, but once you use them up for the month, they're gone. Now, you don't get any speed credits if you don't have a membership with Creative Fabrica. So you don't have to join Creative Fabrica, but... If you want to join Creative Fabrica, that's one of the perks um, is that you get 1,000 speed credits per month, okay? So I'm going to click on Ignite. And I'm in um, a queue right now. Now, normally, if it's going to be a minute, it'll tell you what number you are in queue. So hopefully, this is not going to take super long. There we go. All right, so it's going to generate four digital images. Now, once you publish this image, it's yours, okay? And I have the Creative Fabrica membership, yearly membership. And so um, it comes with the license, okay? So if I wanted to sell these images, put these images on any type of T-shirts or merchandise and sell them, I am free to do so, okay? So... <clears throat> What you would do is to add these to your creations. You would just click on the little pencil here. I'm going to take a look. Mm, she's kind of cute, like her. So I'm going to publish her. When I publish her, she's going to now belong to my creations. Same thing here. Very pretty. And I'm going to publish her. Okay. So those will now become a part of my creation. And um, I can leave the prompt visible or I can hide the prompt but we're not even going to focus on that right now. So I'm going to show you, once you generate a digital image, how you can download that digital image to your computer and then go into Fotor to edit that digital image, okay? So we're going to give it a moment here. It's publishing it to My Creations, and I'm going to show you here. It's going to end up saying um, open in just a moment, it's going to go when you um, download these to your creations, it's going to change from the wording publish to open. OK, so that's going to be a quick way for you to know that you've already downloaded those um, images to your creations. OK, I will tell you, you can see some things look really weird here. Um, you will get some because remember, all of this is being based off of keywords that you're typing um, to generate these images. So you're going to get some weird, you know, images and some extra hands and heads and stuff like that. Uh, don't fret because normally I get at least two images that I can use. Um, and I just played around with Cabbage Patch Dolls, y'all. Y'all remember Cabbage Patch Dolls? <laughs> um, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of them where I'm using, I'm getting like three, you know, two to three really great images that I have added to my creations. All right, let's go back and look and see if it's done. And it is. So if I want to use this image right now, I can download it. So I'm just going to click on open. And to get this image to your computer, um, you can share with your friends via any of these here, but I'm just going to click on and it tells you the commercial usage is allowed and it, it's a hyperlink. So it's going to give you additional information. If you want to read up on that, feel free to do so. So I'm going to click on download. And it's going to give me my little zip file here in the bottom left corner. And I'm going to click on that. Just taking a moment here. So 
So once you download that image, you can place that anywhere on your computer where it's going to be easy for you to remember um, where it is so that you can find it to actually make your edit. Now I know I clicked on this and I think my computer is asleep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over and I'm going to bring up my Fotor, F-O-T-O-R. Okay, F-O-T-O-R dot com. Now you can use this for free. It does also come with a monthly or yearly membership. Um, if you use it for free, it's going to have Fotor's watermark on it. The only way to get rid of that is if you sign up for the three day, um, the three free day um, subscription. And then after that, you have the option to purchase. Um, I'm not going to quote prices because I know those things change over time, but you can pull up photo or and get all of that information. All right. So give me one second here. Let me make sure. So when you go into photor.com, um, you can bring this up via your mobile app as well uh, or your mobile phone. So you don't have to use it just on your computer, um, but I wanted to put that out there. So let's see what is going on. It's this time of the morning and my, my computer gets like a brain part and it takes like a minute for stuff that I save. So give me one minute. I'm going to pause you and then I'm going to come back. All right, guys, here we go. So this is the photor.com website. Again, you can pull it up via your uh, mobile phone. So we're going to click on, you have three options here. You can edit a photo, create a design, or make a collage. We're going to edit a photo. And what we're going to do is it's going to give us the ability to locate the image that we just downloaded from CF Spark. So we're going to open image. And here is our image. All right. So now we have taken our image from Creative Fabric of Spark. We downloaded it. And now we've brought that into Fodor. Okay. So the really great thing about Fodor is that you can do a one tap enhance, okay, here on the left hand side. This is where you're going to have all of your controls and things that you can do to edit your photos. Now, I'm not going to go into all of these. We're just going to talk about doing a really quick edit and that's it. And then I'll do a separate tutorial on all the use for Fotor, okay? So we're going to do a one tap enhance and you're going to notice how it's going to enhance the colors on our image here. Okay, so now it kind of brought it to life a bit. There's a lot of things that you can do in photoor.com. You can remove background. You can do artificial intelligence enlargers here. So I'm going to click on that. So you can do some AI in Fotor. You don't have to just use Creative Fabrica, but like I said, I will do a separate tutorial on that because this website here is amazing. All right. So um, you can crop your image. I'm going to discard that. You can crop your image, you know, um, if you want to take something out, you know, let's say you just want to focus on that part there, then you can do so. So there's just a lot of really great things that you can do in Fotor. Like I said, I'm just going to focus on a really simple element right now, which is just showing you that there is a website out there that you can use. You can do a one tap enhancer and call it quits, or you know you can get into some of these additional things out here. You can go in and you can use beauty, and then you have all these things. You can um, do a blemish fix, you can smooth the image, you can move any wrinkles, um, you can add blush, you can even apply weight loss, <laughs> you can reshape your image, guys. The possibilities are endless and trust me, I have played with all of this stuff out here and I am completely sold on Fotor. Okay. Now, that being said, once you finish, because we're going to make this really simple, once you finish, then you just go here and click on download. 
and you can select whether you want a JPG or a PNG. We're going to do the PNG and say download. And now that is going to download to my computer. And so what we're going to do now is the last thing that we're going to use is we are going to use uh, a print on demand, a POD. Okay, so there's our image right there. And now that that has downloaded, and for those of you that get a zip file when you download from CF Spark, um, once you click on that um, zip file, what you can do is right click it and extract it. If it looks like this, you know it's a zip file. And then it's going to give you a separate little window. You just click extract. And now it's going to give you your actual image. So you can see this is the image that came from CF Spark. Okay. And then we have the image that we took into Photor and, you know, did our own thing. All right. So I'm going to bring up now Printify. Now, this is just one POD guys, there are lots of print on demand out there. And basically what this is, it's a website where you can go, you can upload your art, you can open a store on Printify, and you can use your digital art to place on all of this different merchandise and then sell it, okay? The thing about it is that Printify, because they have all of the material, they, they're the ones that have the merchandise, they're going to do the printing. They are going to charge you a fee for that, and then you get a cut of the profit, okay? Not going to get into all that. There's plenty of print-on-demand companies out there. I would highly recommend that you try to find one that works um, or ships here or it's local in the United States, and that way you don't have to worry about, you know, long wait times for your merchandise, but they have print on demand in China, in the UK, so on and so forth. So you want to be careful about which print on demand you decide to go with. Okay. So what I'm going to show you, we're going to take that image that we just created. Okay. We created it in CF Spark. We edited it in um, Photor, and now we're going to bring it into Printify. Okay. In Printify, you're going to have a catalog and um, it's going to tell you what the best sellers are, you know, holiday picks, men's clothing, women's clothing, kids' clothing, accessories, home and living. Now, how many of you have this merchandise already stocked at your homes? None of us. Very good. And so print on demand allows you to be able to have all, have access to this merchandise, apply your artwork that you create from CF Spark or wherever you create your digital images um, and then apply that digital digital art to merchandise of your choice so you don't have to use all this stuff out here. So my daughter sent me a picture of herself. I edited that photo in the Face app and then I put her picture on a shower curtain. So I'm going to show you here. Okay, so that's the image of my daughter on a shower curtain. And they give you a mock-up to show you what it will look like. Okay. And then when we go back, I also added her image to a duffel bag. Okay. So you can see what that will look like. Okay, so... It's going to give you, once you um, add an image to whatever merchandise of choice, it's going to show you the mock-ups. And that's what your customers will see if you decide to go with a print-on-demand. They'll be able to see what the possibilities are and order right directly from that print-on-demand. Okay? So we're going to go to catalog. And we're going to come down. And let's see, what do we want to do? Okay, we're going to go to bathroom again, since I know that will be one that I know people will be super, super interested in. So we're going to go again. So right here, it shows you, you know, all the information that you need to know. We're going to click on that shower curtain. This one is polyester. 
And I think this one is just a generic brand as it states here. So we're going to click on that. And when you click on your merchandise in the bottom right corner, you're going to have a start designing button. We're going to click on that. And then you can pull that image from your device. Okay. So there's the image. And the image comes in super small. Don't start trying to stretch it out, guys. You have some really quick tools here. You can fill to placeholder. You can fit to placeholder. Um, and basically what this is going to do is enlarge it for you. So I'm going to say fill it to the placeholder. The placeholder are these, anything inside these little bitty lines, these little dotted lines here. Okay. So there's our shower curtain. Now, <clears throat> You can preview it. And that's what it's gonna look like. Or you can use the second image here. And it shows you what that will look like on a shower curtain, okay? Notice I didn't have to stretch it out. I didn't have to worry about the sizing, but this is what you would then be able to take and you know take a snapshot and sent to someone to get their approval, okay, on is this what you're looking for? Possibilities, guys, with this are endless. They are endless. Let me close that out. And then if you like it, you can click save product in the bottom right corner. Now that's going to become a part of your store, okay? So you can see it's now here. These are your uh, mock-ups in your store. If you wanted to design out something else, let's say you wanted to do um, a women's hoodie, you just come, you find the hoodie that you like, you start designing, you go to my device. This time I'm going to select something different just so you can get a better feel. I don't have all of my um, images here. Okay, so see it comes in super small. You just click here, fill to placeholder, and it's going to put the image inside. Okay, and then you can preview it. These are all your different options and views. You can also change the colors. So this one only comes in white, but you know you can play around with it. And it's also unisex. So men or women's heavy blended hooded sweatshirt. But again, guys, possibilities are endless with this print on demand. And trying to send a customer, you know, images from Cricut Design Space of those templates, it's nice, but it could be nicer. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm not going to save that one. But again, we started out in, we started out in CF Spark. Now you can see those images that I downloaded are now a part of my creations. Okay. Now, I will tell you there is a size limitation when you take it into um, Fotor. So I'm going to download this image just so you can see what I'm talking about because it is kind of long, the image itself. So I'm going to click on download. I'm going to get my zip file. When you get your zip file, you're going to select it and click on extract all. because you have to extract that file. And once you extract it, this is where you can save it to wherever you wanna save it on your computer. I'm gonna leave it there and just click extract. And now it is saved to my computer, okay? So now when I go to Fotor, let me bring that back up. Now when I go to Fotor and I wanna go in,
I'm going to open an image from my computer. See, it says the image file exceeded the maximum upload size limit of 20 megabytes. So you would have to reduce that image in order to use it inside of Fotor, okay? It's trying to ask me to rate that. So what I could do is I could take that, that image into like Microsoft PowerPoint and I can um, downsize it in Microsoft PowerPoint and then bring it into Fotor to actually use it or any software where you can go in and um, change the sizing and then come, you know, save, resave it and then bring it into Fotor, okay? So yeah, I wanted to come in and show you guys that. This is gonna answer your question about um, how to create a digital image in CF Spark. It's also going to answer your question about what software can I use? I've now shown you one that you can use the Face app via your mobile phone, via Android or iPhone. I've also now shown you how you can do it on your computer if you don't want to go via mobile phone. And I've also shown you an example of a print-on-demand company and what that means. I will put some links to some other PODs um, in the description of this video tutorial to kind of help you out. Do your own research, okay? Do your own research, okay? Now, I know some of you may say, well, I like the image better that came directly from CF Spark. Well, no problem. All you have to do is just go back and grab the image that came directly from CF Spark, which is here. You're going to notice the difference because it was a little bit darker than this one. That's the one that came directly from CF Spark. Okay. Without any edits, you can download that one now. We're going to save it as a PNG. Okay. And then you could do the same thing by going into um, Printify, start designing. Click on my device here on the right side. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me make sure I got the right one. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. So that's the darker one. Okay, and then you can fit that to the placeholder. So now when you click on move out of my way, your preview, you can see now you have that image on a hoodie or whatever the merchandise was that you selected, okay? So just want to give you options, guys. You can use the images directly from CF Spark without making any changes or edits to them if you so choose. If you want to play around with it in an edit in an app or an editor, then I've shown you both ways that you can do that. And I've also shown you now how you can use one of the print-on-demands um, companies, which is Printify, to actually you know, upload your artwork to merchandise. Now, again, you can create your own store and Printify with your digital art. You can select the items that you want to place your digital art on and get to selling. Okay, I'm not telling you to go to Printify or to start with Printify. I'm just giving you an example of a print on demand. I'm going to list some in my description, like I said, and then you can take it from there. Okay. All right, guys, that is it. That is my story. That is all. Um, I hope that I've answered all of your questions that you may have in regards to CF Spark um, editing software and a PLD, a print on demand. Okay. Um, 
I do want to tell you guys, because some people may say that, why should I do all these things in all these different places? You don't have to. You really don't. Because Creative Fabrica, guys, is amazing. I'm going to tell you that if you go in Creative Fabrica and you come down to product graphics and product mock-ups, you can mock up your images. I mean, you can you choose mock-ups directly from Creative Fabrica. You don't have to go anywhere else. The only difference is it's going to be a little bit more challenging. And what I mean by that is that it's not going to make it as easy for you to place your images on there. Um, so I'm going to walk through one really quick and then I'm going to end this video. Okay. So let's say that I want to place my image on this Christmas themed white um, sweatshirt. Okay, so all I have to do is just click on it and then download. And here you can see it comes with your commercial commercial usage is allowed. So I can download that. It's going to give me a zip file here in the bottom left corner. I'm going to go ahead and click that button for everything. Today. Oh, I'm out. And then we're going to extract it. Okay. Some of you may already have it where to automatically extract, but if it doesn't, and then you can click on browse and save this wherever you choose. I'm just going to click extract. And then I'm going to open that. So I'm just going to go really quick here. All right, so let's say I'm in PowerPoint. I'm going to say insert picture this device. And there is your image. Okay. There's your image. And then you would just insert your picture. Okay, so you do have mock-ups inside of Creative Fabrica. You do not, I repeat myself, you do not have to, you know, go anywhere else to do it. You can do a mock-up directly from Creative Fabrica. Okay, so you're basically going to have to place that image, you know, download the image and then place the image yourself. And then once you get it on there, let's say you say, okay, I like that. Then you want to make sure that you group them. Now you have one whole piece. You can then right click and save as picture. I'm just going to put this on my desktop real quick. I'm just going to say mock, mock up and save. Now, when I go and say insert picture, this device and go back to my desktop. There it is. Okay. So again, you do not have to go through all these different avenues and things that I've shown you here. You can mock up directly from Creative Fabrica. Okay. Creative Fabrica, guys, is pretty much a one-stop shop. Trust me, it has a lot of things that you can do in there. Now, doesn't this look much nicer to send to your client as a mock-up than just a template of a t-shirt from Cricut Design Space? Now, I'm not, I'm not saying anything negative. I'm just giving you more options so that you can get a sale better by being able to market more effectively, okay? So it's all about marketing, okay? Marketing your product, okay? All right, guys, that's it. That's my story. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything I've shown you here, then please chime in in the comments. If you're in my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, you can always ping me in my Facebook group. I'm gonna give you... Uh, a visual here for those that may want to join my Facebook group. We're small but mighty. Trust and believe we are small but mighty. 
All right. So my Facebook group is Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. It is a closed group, so you do have to request to join. This is my Facebook group right here. Um, and I finally hit 2,000 members, guys. I am super excited. I am super excited. Um, again, it's a closed group, so you do have to re request to join um, the group. And that's because I try to keep spammers and scammers out of my group. So that is why it is closed. And I focused on I focus on quality of members, not quantity of members. I want to develop a relationship with my members and help them to be better, much better than when I started eight years ago and I had very little help. So that is the purpose of me starting my group, creating my YouTube channel. It's because I wanted to be able to reach back and help others and it not be so hard. Take those cricket uh, cutting machine out of those boxes, guys. Christmas time is here. I have now shown you a way where you can get started. <laughs> all right all right guys that's it that is all um if you're currently following me on facebook guys thank you so much for following me via facebook under my group ken doris's cricket and creative crafters um if you are currently subscribed to my youtube channel i want to thank you so much for the love and support that you guys show me via youtube if you are seeing me for the first time and you like my method of teaching I have over 300 and about 60 video tutorials on all types of crafts on my YouTube channel. So please check that out and please like, share and subscribe. Hey, guys, this is the time of giving. OK, so one way that you can give to me is by sharing my YouTube channel with others. OK, that would be the best Christmas gift that you could give me. All right. All right, guys, that's it. And that is all. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.